Hey babes, welcome or welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Shaylin and in today's video, I'm bringing you babes a review of the new Skims Performance Collection. Now your girl was immediately intrigued by this collection because it is geared towards working out. Y'all know I love Skims, so anything Skims, I'm kind of like, what's that? You know what I'm saying? But this collection definitely drew me in because your girl has been in the gym trying to get this body right and also because of the price point. Like the price point almost took your girl out. Okay baby, I was baffled. This price point is higher than Miss Lululemon herself, and I definitely feel like this is kind of like a go at the Lululemon girls. Like, do y'all want to try Skims? Because we got something over here. So, baby, Miss Kimberly, I hope you are coming correct because this price point, it better be justified, okay? Let's not waste no more time. Let's jump right into the video. Okay, babes, before we go ahead and jump into the review, I did want to go ahead and give you guys like a brief idea of what the price point of these items are because I think that is super key in how I'm going to be telling you guys how I feel about the items because, baby, these prices are nothing to play with. And yes, I'm pulling out my phone because I do not want to get this wrong. So the cheapest item from this collection is $78. And the most expensive item from this collection is $128. Now, I am not going to be reviewing the item that is $128 because it's very similar to the item that is $118. But this collection is described as a performance collection. It is the next level workout gear engineered with Skims Science Backed Compression. So we're going to see what it's giving. I'm definitely looking at this from a workout girl perspective. I work out in the gym Monday through Friday, so I kind of can tell if a fabric or material is going to work for me, but let's not waste no more time, baby. That's enough jibber-jabber, enough biography, enough summary. Let's get into it. So this next item is the Skims Performance Razor Back Tank. I picked this up in a size medium. Everything that I picked up from this collection was in a size medium, and this is pretty much like your typical workout tank. This tank top retails for $48. For eight, okay, baby, and I don't mind paying $48 for a workout top. However, comma, I have very high expectations. The first thing that I notice about this workout top is it is not any type of bra support in this. Like, I'm going to show you guys in the try-on clip, but I'm probably going to wear some type of pasties over top, but you can literally see my nipples straight through this. There's no support for the boobs whatsoever. So if you're doing any type of exercise like running, jumping up and down, baby, I just don't see it. This is definitely giving yoga, maybe Pilates. I don't know. I've never done it. I just heard Pilates isn't really like you're jumping, running around type vibes. But baby, what? what am I gonna do with this? Like what I'm gonna do with this? Like at most I could probably lift weights in this, but at the same time, I still wouldn't be comfortable because I don't have anything supporting my chest. And also, like I said, I'm definitely one of those girls when the nips get the nip and they nip. Okay, baby. And I have no interest of putting that on display in the gym. And I just feel like wearing pasties in the gym is crazy to me. Also because of the style of this top, I really can't see you putting any type of sports bra underneath, but I do like the subtle skims logo as you guys can see it's like a little s and then you don't really get much logo around the front which i like i really like having clothes that aren't overly branded i'm not really into that this material is very comfortable it's very stretchy i do feel as though it does have compression especially in this bottom portion um and you can feel the difference in the materials compared to the top and the bottom the top is a bit more stretchy as you guys can see and then the bottom you can stretch it but it has a little bit more of like resistance to it if that makes sense so the top definitely snatches you it makes you look really good this top overall is very very cute but i just could not see myself actually working out in this top so just keep that in mind if you're picking this up i just wish they built some sort of built-in bra like skims y'all just came out with bra technology bra this bra that where is the bra for this that's what i want to know kim where is the bra for this okay baby the girls want to know this next item that i want to share with you babes i was most excited about one thing about me i feel like when it comes to the gym it is so hard to find a good pair of workout leggings one that don't roll one that when you squat you can't see straight through it baby and one that like obviously you're gonna sweat in but it don't show as much that was like very very important to me and I'm going to share these with you. Of course, I picked them up in a size medium. And these are the ones without the stirrups. So they do have another legging that retails for $128 that has like the little stirrup at the bottom, which I'm assuming is more for like a Pilates-based workout or something like that. These do not have the stirrups at the bottom because I don't 
do Pilates, okay? I prefer my feet to be free, okay? So I picked up these. These retail for $118. We are getting steep here, Kimberly. $118, baby. Immediately when I saw that price point, I said these better be good. Now, I will talk quickly about the style. It does have like a little bit of a thicker waistband. I do find these pants to be very flattering because of the waistband. At first, I was a little nervous because I felt like the waistband wasn't quite thick enough. So I was concerned about kind of like my fupa hanging out below. But because this material is somewhat compressive, I don't really notice that attention is really drawn to that area. And then it is like minor logo on this. Again, that little athletic logo that they have going on and then it does say like skims on the back really small super cute these make the butt look good but they don't make the butt look great like when I think about Kimberly I think booty sitting booty looking great booty looking voluptuous so I'm not gonna lie to you guys I have very high expectations for how my butt's gonna look don't get me wrong your girl is gifted okay back there in that department okay and I feel like I look good in that department nine times out of ten but I just expected this to really wow me and I didn't get that factor if I'm being honest however I love this gunmetal color I think it's super cute um they do have like this stitching that goes down the butt but I feel, wish they kind of would have did like a scrunch or something or did something different with the the waistband in the back so that the butt was a bit more flattering I just feel like when people think of a brand that's associated with Kim Kardashian that has to do with clothing they really expect like their waist to look snatched and their butt to still look good like sit I feel like that's one of the expectations, so shame on me for expecting that, but you know, I just don't feel like it was really met. I don't feel like these leggings are revolutionary. I don't feel like they're like something I've never felt before. However, they are very cute and they look amazing with the top that I just showed you, babes. It's a cute set. I just personally cannot justify this high price point for these leggings just because I'm like, what? Where is the 118 going? Like, what is it for? You do get some compression, as you guys can see. It's not as easy to stretch here, but when you come down here, you do get a lot more stretch. So it does have a bit more compression in the waist. But I'm just, I don't know, like, I'm just not super like, oh my god to these. Like, I'm not. You can tell by the material, it is sweat wicking. It is going to dry up quickly if you do sweat and work out in the gym. I do find that when I squat with these, you cannot see through them. Now, I didn't do a full-blown workout in these, girl, because I'm going to return them because I'm just not $118 worth of happy okay but I did do a squat in them you cannot see through them or anything like that so that's great I did do a kind of run in place type of thing didn't fall down so that's good as well but like I said am I doing did I do an intense hardcore workout in these no because I just cannot justify the price point so therefore return to sender immediately um but they're cute and one thing I love about these two is they aren't too long to the point where they bunch up a ton at the bottom which is usually pretty concerning for me with leggings because your girl's short but these are a 7 8 legging so if you are a bit of a taller girl just know they'll be a little bit cropped on you and if you are short I'm five foot these will hit you at the absolute perfect length but like I said they're a cute pair of leggings but I'm just not wowed by them I gotta keep it real with y'all like it is what it is. So this next item is another top, which I was super excited about because I feel like it's super hard to find cute, flattering, long sleeve tops for the gym. And this is probably my favorite item from the haul. And it is this long sleeve top. It's very similar to the racer neck top that I showed you guys. The only difference is it has long sleeves. It has that same like uh, stitching underneath the boob area. But again, an issue with this is there's no support. However, compared to this compared to the other top you can actually wear a sports bra underneath this because you wouldn't be able to see like the sports bra if that makes sense so you definitely would need some type of sports bra underneath this because this like the other top does not have any boob support it is stretchier at the top and a lot more resistant at the bottom it does have the skims logo on the back and then also says skims on the arms as well one thing i love about this top the arms are really long and i love wearing like my um long sleeves kind of over my hands i just like that look i think it's super cute this top fits really cute it's really nice i love it i definitely love this material it's super breathable but compressive at the same time however the price point on this top i believe was 78 dollars. it was a 78 no it was 98. It is a cute top. It's very flattering. I love it. I'm not gonna lie. I love it. I love the way it looks, but I, $98? Absolutely not. Like, absolutely not. And y'all know me. I'm a ride die type of skims girl, and there are things that I will 100% pay $98 or more 
for skims will i be keeping it i don't know give me give me y'all opinion in the comment section below because i really like this top it's really cute but i'm like 98 dollars. let me know if you guys would pay 98 dollars for this top do you think it's justified do you think it's worth it like let me know y'all let me know y'all see the trial clip i want to know your opinions down below the next item that i want to share with you babes is the shorts one thing about these shorts i'm not gonna lie to y'all when i first opened it out of the pack i said baby maybe mama should have got a large they just looked very small to me but one thing about skims she will deceive you okay you'll see something it'll look super small but then you put on you're like oh this works okay um so again you have that skims logo on the back then there's skims written down the side of the biker shorts right there super cute um again they have pretty much the same waistband and look of the leggings it's literally just a short version there's no difference between these and the leggings except for the length um, the waistband is exactly the same. The cut in the butt is exactly the same. Do these look good on? Yes. However, comma, the problem is the price. These are $98. This is probably the most overpriced item from the entire collection. For one, they don't make my butt look amazing. They, my butt looks good, but it doesn't look amazing. It doesn't look $98 worth amazing. And then they're just your typical shorts. Like there's nothing revolutionary about these. There's nothing different about these it's not like these work out on my behalf like what where is the $98 justification I really need to know because this shocked me honestly this was the one item that when I saw and I was adding to my car I said do I want to do this or not do I want to do this or not like literally had me going back and forth especially when you have leggings that are literally a couple dollars more like absolutely not they look cute on I love the way it looks with the tank I love the way it looks with the long sleeve again all of these pieces can be easily interchanged and worn with each other or worn with other things but my overall review of this collection is it's cute it looks great it's definitely to me more geared towards less cardio based workouts i also wouldn't wear this for like heavy strength training also wouldn't wear this if you are heavy chested as well just because there's no bra support i feel like this collection would be better fit for someone who wants to run errands in it it's definitely not a collection to me that you should be working out in it's definitely more of a like go to the grocery store go to the mall still look cute still look put together like that's the type of vibes it's giving I really wish she came out with a jacket but who knows that would probably be $200 so overall I just feel like these items are a bit overpriced and it's hard for me to say that because I will spend so much money on skims and I feel like the price could be justified if it had something revolutionary about it something different about it something that really makes it stand out but Kimberly you lost me like this collection is very cute I love it but the price point is just off to me it is very very off. But if you babes enjoyed this video and would like to see more Skims related content, then be sure to check out my Skims playlist on screen for you babes. I love you babes so much and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!